me know when you're ready. Everybody good to go? All right. Uh, again, our, our condolences go out to the family of Kathleen Moore, all our family and friends. Um, you know, we know you've been through a lot over the past week or so, and then also within the past 24 hours. Um, I, I can say, you know, she is deceased. Today we positively identified her body based on tattoos. Um, Nicole came in around 11.30 this morning that she was discovered in the woods um, off of Camalo Drive, which is, she was about 50 yards northeast of Colin Knapp's home. And so it was a very heavily brush area. She was actually covered. Um, you can almost describe she was definitely covered on purpose uh, to make sure nobody can come upon her. And you know, even as detectives will tell you, even when you're two feet away from her, it, it's hard to see that her body was there. Um, and I will say, you know, canine did track that area. Uh, canine did track that area. But there's several factors that come into it, you know, wind, weather, decomposition. So, you know, they did their best, but that wasn't just a focal point as we were looking at this investigation. You know, there was an investigation, there was numerous places that we had looked at, you know, the dumpster where the cell phone was found, you know, at Sam Seltzer's restaurant. Uh, the dumpsters that were brought to a location um, to go through, and I, I want to reiterate that. There was a lot of evidence that had been found in those dumpsters, and when that was found, there was 14 additional industrial-sized dumpsters that went out there that our detectives combed through. Over 20 detectives were combing through these dumpsters because that's where all the evidence was leading to. But again, I, you know, I, I want to thank our citizens. Last night, we put out a plea for help, and they did. At 11.30 this morning, we got the call because citizens were out there helping us. And that's the one thing about Pasco County. Our citizens work with law enforcement. They work side by side with the sheriff's office. That's saying we fight as one, that's all of us. That's the we. And we are going to bring justice for Kathleen. We did that together. I wish to God we could bring her back. She's, in God, she's with God now. She's with the angels. And we pray for her, we pray for her family right now because they're going through so much. But with that, we will bring her justice. We will bring her family justice. You know, that is important. So, you know, I want to thank all the members of our community. I want to thank our detectives for the outstanding work they did. And I just ask right now that we pray for her family. And I also ask that if anybody is in a domestic violence relationship, please use Kathleen's life to learn from the fact that you, maybe her life, her sacrifice that she went through is to save somebody else. And it is to save you because you're not horrible domestic violence, violence relationship, get out of it. Because if there's something positive that can come out of her death, is that somebody else will live. So please continue to pray for her. If you're in a horrible relationship, please get out of it. There are resources like Sunrise. We will get you help. With that, is there any questions for myself or Sergeant Rosa? Can we determine the manner of death at this point? Um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Rosa, R-O-S-A. I'm a sergeant with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit. And no, ma'am, to answer your question, um, it is too early in our investigation to actually determine that or release that information. Do we anticipate charges being upgraded now that the body has been found? It's too early to say that, ma'am. Anything you can say about the search and canines from the Pasco County Sheriff's Office going over this area and not finding her sooner? I will let the sheriff answer that. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, this is one of those things, that it's just one of those things that, you know, we're human beings, we did our best, we've done our best. You know, we had drones up, uh, we had deputies out there, we had canines out there. And it's one of those things, she was a very wooded area, covered up. Wind, weather, decomposition, those all play factors in a search. So I'll go back to it, it's, it's everything in life works better when it's a team. And that plead our citizens, we mean it. We want our citizens to work with us. And that's what happened. The citizens were out there working with us. And those dogs do a phenomenal job. But this is the facts of life. We have to work together as a team. And when we work together as a team, those are the things that came together. And we were able to find Kathleen. You know, that was a critical part. But, you know, I'm proud of the work our detectives did. They were, the focus of the investigation actually was those dumpsters. 14 industrial sized dumpsters. People were, you know, remember, the evidence, the blood-stained clothing, was in those dumpsters. 
we had to search all those dumpsters before they got taken off to landfills. We wanted to make sure that every piece of evidence, God forbid if Kathleen was in one of those dumpsters, that we found her before they were taken out of our community. That was a focus for us. There was no evidence that led us that she was going to be 50 yards into that wood line at the time. What was priority for us was getting into those dumpsters and making sure she was not in there. As horrible, as gruesome as that sounds, it's the truth. And that's what we had to focus on at the time. But as we go back, was that area going to be searched again? Yes, because we did our due diligence in those dumpsters. We were going to go back to other areas to keep searching. We know it was critical to find her. We know that it was critical to Bruce Bartlett's, our, Bruce Bartlett's office at the state attorney's office to make sure that they get prosecution. And I know, and I heard people, oh, how can you make that arrest? You know, how can the state attorney get a warrant when there was no body? There was a lot of evidence. But we know finding her, two reasons. One, most importantly, is for her family. I, I can't imagine a family, you know, one is knowing she's dead, but even worse is not knowing where she is. Second is to make sure we get prosecution, we get justice in this case. So I can understand that part where people say, I can't believe that, you know, well, how can you not find her? It wasn't the focus at the time because all the evidence led us to believe she may have been in one of those 14 dumpsters. Can you talk a little bit about the evidence, a little bit more about the evidence that you guys used to make that arrest yesterday? Obviously, we couldn't talk about it because we hadn't found her. Right. Does finding her now change that? And I'll let Sergeant Rosa, because they're the ones going to be working with prosecutors. So not necessarily, ma'am. So we can tell you that it was more than just the blood on the, our defendant's pants that led us to the arrest. However, a lot of information we cannot re reveal at this time. I will tell you that we've, my unit and my leadership has worked multiple homicide investigations, and our investigations don't stop after an arrest. Our investigations, most of the time in homicides, begin after an arrest. So we were planning on doing multiple other things during the investigation to include researching those woods. Talk a little bit about the tattoos that were used to identify her. Where were those located and what were those of? Probably out of like respect for the family, I'm not going to give you where the tattoos were located, but there were multiple tattoos that specifically identify her. Are you able to give us a time of death or an estimation on when you believe she might have died? Um, no, ma'am. And at, at this point, we are working on that right now uh, with different scienti scientists right now to figure that out. But however, we cannot give that. I would be guessing at this point. Message for Nap yesterday. You were pleading with him to say something to help us find her. Obviously, that didn't happen, but now that we found her, any message to him tonight? Yeah, and I'll agree to get that one point. I just want to hit this other part too. Uh, remember also when this investigation started and it came out of Pinellas and they said that she, Catherine was last missing here in Pasco, we didn't assume that she was dead. You know, we assumed that she was alive and we were searching to find a live person. So those are those things. When you're doing those searches, you're moving quick. You're going to places. So I just want to make sure that's out there. Uh, a, mass a message to the arrested individual in this case, you know, I, I go back to it again. There is a God. There is a God who knows everything. And he, he cannot take back, the suspect cannot take back what he did in this case. But what he can do is make something positive going forward. Make it easier on the family answer their questions you know answer the why because we have the evidence we have Kathleen now oh he if he wants to make a positive difference in somebody's life help the family out answer their questions give them a little bit of piece of justice back give them you know don't let them live with that why the rest of their lives answer their questions because that's the only thing right now the only thing that he could do that would be a positive in somebody's life have you guys made contact with NAP today after you positively identified Kathleen? Um, no, ma'am. Um, last time we spoke to Mr. Knapp, he um, just said that um, he no longer wa wanted to answer any more questions. So at that point, we stopped. Is it possible that she could have been moved from a primary location to the second location, or do you believe this is where the crime occurred? We probably can't answer it at this point. Our investigation is still going. Um, I really can't answer that at this point. I apologize. Was it with a blanket? Was it with dirt? She like very like. Can you kind of describe? So I the the best way to say that she was covered by the the, the environment outside. All right. We appreciate. It. Thank you all very much. Thank you for your time.